father of the millennium, Kevin Federline, is forcing Britney Spears to let him take their kids to Hawaii. And it turns out it may be so he can extend his child support? Welcome to Popcorn Planet. I am Andy Signor, and I'm as disgusted as all of you. And that's why we brought in expert Christopher Melcher, divorce lawyer, expert of all of the famous people, L.A., everything. Couldn't get a better person. I'm so glad to break this down, Christopher, because the fans out there are putting out this theory, and it terrified me. So I had to get you on the line immediately. Is I guess before we answer the question, let me help set this up, right? Because we're going to get to, I don't know, people are already it. Just so you understand, guys. Kevin Federline put out this request through TMZ, made it public, approve my move to Hawaii with the kids or I'm taking you to court. Uh, nasty comments here. Uh, Mark, uh, Vincent Kaplan, Kevin's lawyer, demanding, saying that he's been talking to Rosengart several times, sent a letter, email. Brittany's okay with the move, but it hasn't happened. Kaplan says plans, he plans to take the kids on October 1st. Yada, yada, hurry up or else we have the right, you don't have the right. And that was the end. Why are we waiting for uh, Rosengart responded when I called you yesterday to express my dismay that you had done so. You denied doing so. Apparently, you did not realize that TMC's story literally quotes you as the story source. Uh, it was uh, more than disappointing that you made this public, creating unnecessary drama and a false dispute by publicly discussing this issue in your letter. Uh, served no good faith purpose, calling them undignified, ungracious, and unnecessary. It was also ironic, given that your statement in your April 28th letter uh, in addition to your unemployment opportunity in Hawaii for Miss Federline's wife, the children wanted to be more sheltered from the media scrutiny. That is commendable, but your media interview did nothing to shelter them. Instead, it publicized the issue for the world. Amen to Rosengart's great reply because Kevin Federline, in my opinion, is a complete douchebag, always claiming privacy, privacy, but oh, wait, let's put the kids out there in the press and, and air our dirty laundry. So, Christopher, that's the uh, background. Before we get to this child custody question Hawaii what is your response to this back and forth public feud between Kaplan and Rosengart yeah it's 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 disgusting because you know it's it's really um, Mark Vincent Kaplan trying to promote himself by really preying upon you know this what should be a very private uh, discussion and decision between these two parents and but instead now it's become a TMZ headline so that that's really placing his own interests ahead of his client and certainly is is doing nothing to benefit the children of his client and Brittany. So that's really disgusting. Great comeback by Rosengard. Um, you know, we're 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 Kaplan saying, you know, hey, uh, I didn't I didn't publicize this. But, you know, he's quoted as the source in the story. And many times TMZ will list the name of the attorney when the attorney is the leaker because the the name of the attorney is really not relevant it's not relevant if i'm representing somebody or not really it's it's the story you know it's the parents it's whatever the issue is that's relevant to the reader and so why go to the trouble to name the lawyer well a lot of times that's because there's you know a, a, a leak here that's occurred and they want to you know reward the leaker and so in any event, really, really yeah. disgusting. But, you know, there's nothing out of line that we have seen forever. Yeah, I'll just say this guy's despicable, not only Federline, but Kaplan. Uh, I don't know why he's he's just so vocally against Spears trying to make this drama. Uh, I don't know why he does it, sir. Why do you do it? Is it because you're so short? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I know he hates that. I'm not putting Christopher on screen because I'm going to bash him. I leave Brittany alone, K Fed and Kaplan. My God, it's frustrating. And I'm even more frustrated uh, because, yeah, now, Christopher, the rumors are that they're doing this to extend the child support. What? Kudos to the fans for putting this out there because, yes, apparently Hawaii might allow them to get child support up to the age of 23. Christopher, this isn't true. Is that true? Well, it could be, and it really depends on, on how careful Rosengard is in documenting this deal, because what we've now heard is that, um, through Rosengard's statement, is that um, Brittany will agree to her children um, being relocated to Hawaii and uh, that she's, you know, kind of blessing that move. And that's that's her you know, decision to make. And, and apparently that's what she's OK doing. But um, 
we now have this child support question, and this is what I love about the Free Britney movement, is that we have some very smart and diligent people uh, that I've learned so much from, and I'm really humbled just having you know worked in, in the movement or, or getting to know these folks because going through situations like this and coming up with stuff that most lawyers don't know. And that's what's you know, amazing as you figure the lawyers would know this stuff, but a lot of times they don't. And so this is a really, really big concern. And I see this mistake happening over and over again because now I finally get to talk about something that I, that I do daily, which is interstate and international child issues. And so a lot of the lawyers don't think about this stuff and they'll say, oh yeah, sure, let's go ahead and, and allow the relocation to occur. And they're thinking custody and time sharing, parenting arrangements, and they forget about child support jurisdiction. So where this stands is that in California, where currently has made a, cal a child support order, child support terminates by law when the child becomes 18 or can be extended to age 19 uh, if the child hasn't graduated high school. So if it'll go until the kid graduates from high school, no later than age 19. So that's the outside date, graduate from high school or no more than 19. Hawaii though says if the child um, is enrolled in college or some kind of vocational program, then it can extend to the age of 23. So there, Kevin will get an extra potentially four, four and a half years of child support by this move unless Rosengart knows about this statute, and that's Hawaii Revised Statutes 57B-611. And this is part of a uniform set of laws in the United States. Each state has its own version of this thing. And basically, what it's saying is that you can move a child to Hawaii, but the right to child support stays in California. And um, California has exclusive power over that child support and including any change or modification to it unless Brittany moves out of California or she consents to Hawaii having the jurisdiction to change it. So it's imperative when Rosengard is working on this that he carved that out and saying, we're agreeing to the relocation of the children to Hawaii, but all child support matters stay here. And that way this, this this won't be an issue and it'll terminate when the children graduate from high school or no later than age 19. And the termination date will apply. And that is uh, in, in C, uh, including the duration of the obligation of support stays under California law. So that's what D means. This is highly technical stuff. And again, a lot of the California lawyers don't know it because they're just dealing with families in California. Right. They're not dealing with interstate or international stuff. I'm one of the few lawyers that do this. So I know these statutes work with this all day long. So hopefully when this gets documented or when the, the agreement is made, they keep California child court, uh, child support jurisdiction here, allow the children to go there. And if uh, she won't, I'm sorry, if Kevin won't agree to that, then Brittany should just say, no, I'm not agreeing and let him go to court and he'll get his order for the move to Hawaii. That'll be granted. But the court has no authority to move child court, child support jurisdiction to Hawaii. The court can only move the children to Hawaii. So she should stand firm on that. Um, and, you know, and hopefully Rosengart's being advised on all these issues and will, will uh, you know, take care of I mean, issue. could this be why that weasel Kaplan is hmm. putting uh, my words, not Christopher's? Uh, I don't like him. Uh, it, could that be why Kaplan's trying to do this and make this PR move to distract? And maybe has this secret plan? Could it be possible? Well, sure. I mean, child support, you know, is coming up to an end. The kids are getting older. So normally you would want um, you'd want to be in California if you're the one getting child support. This is California has the highest levels of child support probably than any state. And that's, you know, again, why I'm I'm usually defending people like pro athletes trying to keep their child support away from California. So KFED, when the kids were er younger, certainly would not want to touch Hawaii because Hawaii, they might order 10,000, 15,000 a month in child support. California is going to be 40, 50,000 or more. 
in, in these big cases. So he was well served by keeping the kids in California. But as the child support's going to terminate by operation of law at, you know, 18 to 19 in California, he would be better off trying to extend that by going to Hawaii, even though the amount of support may be lower, it'll be for a longer period. So that I, I would I would definitely think that could be a play. Interesting. So when he moves there, does he does does Britney's team get to then suddenly recalibrate the uh, rates? I mean, her they I guess they're married, right? She gets a new job. He's moving. Is that a cause to reevaluate the child support and therefore maybe she pays less these next couple years while Preston, I think it is, is 16? She she could. Uh, she could try that. It would be a little bit dangerous because if she opens up the modification, that would be in the California family court. Um, we just never know where that goes. Would a California mm -hmm. family court try to say, hey, it's California, although has jurisdiction, it's an inconvenient forum. The kids live in Hawaii and the California court might be able to move that over there. So by declining its jurisdiction. So, again, these are very tactical moves. Again, I'm, this is this is my life. You know, it, it, I'm sure it sounds boring yeah. to everybody, but this is you know, this, this is cost the stuff you I a do. lot of money, Internet, to get this kind of insight from this man. We're very <laughs> lucky. But, yeah, yeah, that's why you get paid the big bucks, I imagine, because this is really complicated, important stuff for these clients. Yeah. I mean, it's 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 a weird spot where I'm in where mostly I um, I consult with other lawyers. So other lawyer, other family lawyers hire me to give advice and help with strategy on these issues, because, again, it's, you know, of all the family law cases, you got to think how many involve interstate or international issues. And, you know, these are the mega wealthy folks. So this is what I do. But, um, you know, Rosengart will be getting his advice and be thinking about all these things and I'm sure make good decisions. And the um, and it's just a, a matter of negotiating it all out. But I think it, to answer your question, you know, for her to modify in California would be a little bit risky if, if I were. Uh, you know, thinking about this, I, I would just say, hey, let the thing run out and terminate in, in you know, whatever, a couple of years here at the most in um, California. Because it ends it. when the kids are 18. So that, yeah, I guess just wait mm -hmm. it out and see. What about who pays Kaplan? Does that come out of the, the child support? Is that part of the deal? And like, because Brittany's paying that, I imagine, as the higher earner, right? Yeah. So, you know, in California, whoever the higher earner is, is going to pay you know, generally all or most of the attorney's fees for the other side. And, you know, it's it's a nice idea because, you know, we're a lot of times looking at a single mom who has no money and needs access to counsel and they're going to get buried by the rich, you know, guy. That That's, you know, a lot of times what the dynamic is. So we have this fee shifting statute based on needs in California. Unfortunately, what happens is that it creates an incentive to litigate, an incentive to be unreasonable because lawyers will, you know, if they're not honest or, or reasonable, will use this device to just stir up constant litigation knowing they're going to get paid. And, you know, so, yeah, he's going to get paid by Brittany. Yeah, not stirring anything up here. Of course he is. That's why I'm not a fan. This guy knows who's paying him and then still stirs it up so he gets paid more. It's, man, that is the ugliest side of law, Chris. <laughs> That's a... That is a tough place to be in. I don't know how these guys sleep at night doing that over and over again. But to wrap this up, it does sound like the fans were not wrong. This is a potential thing. If Rosengart's team, and I'm sure they are, no, not no shade to Rosengart, but if he somehow fell asleep on this and wasn't paying attention, this could have been a tactic to try to sneak in some little writing there that they sign off on and then suddenly, oh, crap, now you have to pay even longer. That, absolutely right. And that that's honestly what the best part for me uh, that I love about this story is is the the people who love and support Britney Spears. I, I, I don't even know if I want to say fans, but, you know, it's it's the love and support and the diligence and thought that's gone into this and that we're seeing this to this day. And, yeah, we, we got to raise the alarm. We got to be concerned about it because, again, I know this stuff. I pull this statute up in minutes because, again, I'm working with this every day. But a lot of lawyers don't. And, and it's good to be like, hey, you know, let's let's be concerned about this because it's it's fine. If the kids are going to be happier in Hawaii with KFED and, and, you know, then Brittany is fine in supporting that. But she also has to realize, like, wow, is she going to sign up for another four years potentially 
uh, of child support by agreeing to that. She needs to know about that and, and, and think that issue through. And if she agrees to that, too, that's fine. That's her decision. It's her money. But I would hate to see her trapped in another legal battle. And we know from the conservatorship, there were a lot of lawyers involved and there were a lot of judges involved in that conservatorship debacle. And, you know, everyone I'm sure was going through that thinking, oh, we're following the law and we know what we're doing. And it was so screwed up. And it was really the Free Britney movement that broke it open. And, you know, I have a lot of respect for Rosengart, but it was not Rosengart that did that. It was the Free Britney movement that did that. Yep. And yeah, I think we can all agree we didn't, we need less unnecessary drama. That's not helping anybody here. Uh, they're getting paid plenty and be patient and figure it out. Or is something sneaky happening? Rosengard, if you're unsure, call this man, Christopher Melcher. He is available. You can find him, guys, yourself as well over at C underscore divorce. Go follow him over on Twitter to get his insight when he can. Uh, appreciate always having you come here with your insight, but this was a, this was an interesting one. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you give him a follow as a thank you. Make sure to also hit that subscribe button, hit that bell for all alerts, and smash that thumbs up as well. And what are your thoughts? Do you think this was some sort of sneaky plan? Let us know in the comments. We'll be back with more content soon. Thank you for watching on Popcorn Planet.